June is over. That means it's time for a monthly update. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ben Price. It's time for a monthly update. June was quite eventful. I did a little bit of work, a little bit of relaxing, all of those things made for an exciting month. Uh, the first thing, uh, in true Ben Price magic fashion, I started the month off on a ship. Uh, this one was in Barcelona. Uh, well, it was a little bit in Barcelona. Barcelona, uh, or Spain, Italy, and France is where we spent most of our time. It's too, the list is too long to, uh, to name all of the places we went, but while I was there, um, I took the opportunity to do something that I wasn't able to do the last time I was on this exact same itinerary. So last October, I spent five weeks on the Virgin Valiant Lady uh, in the, on the same itinerary, and every time we were in Marina di Carrara, I wanted to go to Pisa. That's the closest um, uh, spot you can visit. Uh, from Carrara. There's other places you can go, but the most notable is Pisa. I was never able to get off the ship because of my show schedule. This time I did. I hopped off the boat, I had a day off, went to Pisa, spent the day there, um, and saw the Leaning Tower and all the other little buildings that are in and around that area. It was really awesome. It did rain quite a bit, um, so I spent most of the day quite wet but it was fun. I had some uh, gelato. I had a little uh, pizza and a little cafe near the, uh, near the tower, which was really nice. What I found strange, okay, while I was eating my pizza and my gelato, um, if you didn't know that people take that, you know the picture, the one where people are leaning or they're holding the tower up. If you didn't know that was a thing, watching all these people just stand there with their arms up like this, it's very strange. It looks like a very, um, well, you know what it looks like. Uh, but all the way down, all the way along this fence that they had there uh, leading up to the tower are just these people standing like this. And it's very disconcerting. So I wasn't able to take a picture like that. I was uh, a solo adventure that day. So I don't have a picture like that. Thank goodness, because I don't think I would feel good about myself standing there doing this. Um, but that's, uh, that was my day in Pisa. When I finished up the Virgin contract, I came home, I spent one night at home, and then Tori and I went camping. Now, last year, we went on a road trip from Calgary to BC. We went to visit a friend of Tori's named Eric. Uh, we, were, we were in Vernon, we were in Kelowna, we stopped in Golden and Revelstoke along the way. Um, all beautiful places. But on the way home, we stopped at a place called Paper Crane Glamping. Um, and glamping is just camping, but elevate it a little bit. And we stayed in a yurt. Uh, the yurt is a, a tent with walls. It's made of canvas. It's a little heavier uh, than a normal tent. And I loved it. I loved it so much. I thought, let's buy us a yurt so we can go camping more. Tori loves camping. I'm not a huge camper, but I thought if we're going to do it, I want to do it in comfort. So I bought us a yurt. The yurt comes. I spend a day at home, one night at home, and then we go camping. I'm very jet lagged. It is what it is. We get there, we set it up. It sets up like a dream, okay? It goes up like five minutes and we are, are all set up, ready to go. Um, we have our fire, we have our dinner, we go to bed. It starts raining a little bit. In the morning, we wake up absolutely drenched. Now, I bought the yurt, I bought because it was supposed to be waterproof, okay? It says in like seven different places on the website, waterproof, good for all kinds of camping. No, it is not. So, we were in bed deciding whether or not we should stay or go. We ended up leaving. We didn't even spend a full 24 hours. But I emailed this company, Vever or Verver, I don't know how you say it, V-E-V-O-R. I emailed the company, I was like, hey, this year isn't waterproof, I'd like to send it back, which they have a 30 day, no hassle return policy. It turns out there's a lot of hassle, okay? I spent the better part of a week and a half, two weeks arguing with these people. Um, they sent me responses. They were gonna give me, I spent $506.99 on this year. They offered me $200 to keep the tent and just put up with it. I said no. They offered, uh, they offered me a suggestion of waterproofing the tent myself, to which I said no, it's supposed to be waterproof. They offered me $306 to keep the tent and I said no. Then they said that it would cost them money for me to return the product, so I should just keep it. I said no. You have a 30 day no hassle return policy at this point, which is not true. There is a lot of hassle, but luckily I paid with PayPal. I did the whole PayPal thing on the website. 
I submitted a claim with PayPal. The company emailed me and said they were really sad to see that I opened a claim with PayPal. They will refund the money. So I ended up getting the money back. The kicker is they didn't even want the tent back. And I was willing, I was willing to send it back. I don't want it. It's garbage. But they knew it was also garbage and didn't want it back. So now I have my money and a tent, which I guess we can use if we know for sure it's not going to rain. Um, but at this point, I'll probably post it on like Facebook Marketplace for a hundred bucks. Uh, and you can use it for like a kid's thing outside. I don't know. It's a, it's a good tent if it's not raining, but not great for camping in the rain. Um, I also had a first this month. Uh, I did a lecture for the Calgary Magic Circle. A good friend of mine, Simon Mallet, who is uh, the president of the Calgary Magic Circle, asked if I would come and give a lecture on cruise ships. Now, I have only been doing cruise ships for a very short period of time, but I've amassed a certain amount of knowledge on um, how they work and how an entertainer functions in these roles that I've been filling. So, uh, while I'm not an expert on the subject, I think I gave them a little bit of information that would be helpful if they were going to try it out um, and, and see how they like it. So I did a lecture. It was really well received. Uh, so thanks to the Calgary Magic Circle for having me out. I had a blast and I hope you did as well. Looking forward to the next time I'm back and may be able to share more knowledge on the subject. I was also part of the filming of documentary this month. Uh, there's a, a program at SAIT. SAIT is the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology, incidentally where Tori got her marketing diploma from. But there's a student program uh, for filmmakers and one of the films that the students are doing right now is a documentary on magic and magicians and how they make it a career and how they got into it and how they function in society as, um, as magicians. So they asked me to come and do an interview and I think a few tricks. So uh, that was something I did this month. It was really fun. Uh, River uh, is the director. Uh, there was a, a bunch of other great students involved as well. And so uh, I'd like to extend a thank you to them for having me out. It was a lot of fun and I can't wait to see the final product. And if it becomes public, I will post it somewhere where you can click a link and, and follow and give it a watch if you're interested. Finally, just before we wrap up here, I'm back in town. I booked quite a bit of time off in July. I wanted to be home for Stampede, um, but uh, as a result of booking that time off in July, I got a little bit of time off in June. So I have been home for uh, two weeks now, and in that time I've done a few pedal pubs, um, spent some time with Tori. That's been really fun, but uh, looking forward to doing some more pedal pubbing um in the coming months and uh, i can't wait to uh hit up the stampede and i will fill you in on all the stampede shenanigans next month but until then thanks for tuning in to this monthly update uh stay classy out there and as always if you have questions or comments leave them below or get in touch info at ben price magic i always love to hear from you until next month